Today we're going to explore how Reality Capture extends 3D GIS into new areas and across three different scales, city, building, and landscape. Let's get started in the city of Frankfurt, Germany. 2D data is readily available all over the world, providing contexts with information like building footprints, parks, and trees. We can see this data in our 2D vector base maps and world imagery. And even though it's very detailed, it's still not a true model of the real world. But with new processing technology, we're able to quickly build a 3D mesh of Frankfurt using Shore for ArcGIS, taking our visualization to the next level. This mesh was created from over 800 2D aerial images, collected by plane over the entire city. A completely new view emerges. Skyscrapers pop out, providing context. And zooming in, we can see details on roof forms and even construction sites. The mesh provides a new way to interact with the scene. Here, we can quickly measure the height of the building. With 3D GIS, a snapshot of reality is at our fingertips and gives us the opportunity to explore entire regions from afar. But this model is more than a mesh. It also gives us the ability to create 3D smart maps using classic GIS techniques. For example, using a point cloud to illustrate a thematic map of building elevation over the city. Here, the old historic heart of Frankfurt with its more elaborate roof forms lies in stark contrast to the modern high rises of the financial district. More traditional GIS data can be added in as well. This analysis shows elementary school service areas for the city and the corresponding school, interacting just like a 2D map, but with the underlying element of reality. Let me show another example. In Los Angeles, just east of LAX, a new stadium finished construction in September. The area surrounding the construction site is largely flat and can be visualized with simple building extrusions. Following the stadium's construction, a low altitude drone was used to capture imagery, which was then processed using SiteScan to create a high resolution 3D mesh. Zooming in, we can see details of the new stadium, like this open space for public events, exposing the data collected by drone. We can enhance this model with an orthomosaic of the site. And one really valuable way we can start to use this mesh is for special event planning, ensuring community safety with large crowds. Using the special event planning solution, we can quick quickly create a plan with special event assets, road closures, and safety information, and overlay it on top of the site, giving an on-the-ground operational view to understand and contextualize the area for a large event. When we think of capturing 3D data, we typically think of our urban areas, but reality capture extends to our natural landscapes as well. In this topographic map, we can see the dramatic elevation of Mammoth Mountain. Let's enhance it with a hillshade derived from LiDAR, highlighting the bare terrain and steep slopes. Next, we'll add in an orthomosaic that was captured in the wintertime, so we can see the landscape covered in snow when it gets most of its use. And lastly, we'll add in 3D buildings and trees that are derived from LiDAR. And now we have a beautiful raw view of Mammoth, a realistic 3D model. Mammoth is known for its world-class recreational opportunities with skiing in the winter and hiking in the summer. Trail and slope data can be overlaid on top of the 3D model, fusing together different sources of GIS data. Here we can see the expansive trail network in orange and ski runs in black, blue, and green. The runs are rated by difficulty. And turning on the slope analysis, the difference in ratings becomes obvious. The steepest slopes are rated black for experts. The blue follows more moderate routes for intermediates, and green highlights the easiest routes for beginners. This 3D scene is a true fusion of different sources of data, from elevation data, to points, lines, and polygons, to analysis results. Now, so far, we've seen examples of 3D GIS over a city, building, and landscape. But let me show you one last example that fully integrates reality capture with GIS. This is a 3D mesh of Denver's central business district. 
At two centimeters resolution, we can see extraordinary detail from street furniture to vegetation and even traffic infrastructure. The detail is exciting, but it's made even more powerful using underlying GIS attributes to make it completely interactive. Clicking in the scene identifies the object selected is a traffic light and tells me when it was installed and last inspected. I can easily identify the street, but clicking an inch over tells me the name of the light rail line that cuts through. This is 3D GIS and the ability to access the wealth of information behind the mesh. So when you're exploring and you want to know what this bear is, a simple click will give you all of that information and more. With 3D GIS, we're able to fuse together different sources of data to create a true view of the real world. Thank you.